Hey, what's up? How's everybody doing? Welcome to Talking Shit. It's your boy, the Manic Genius, and this sophisticated jerk again. So, before we jump in this clip, man, Manic, uh, where'd you find this one? And uh, you, you give a quick intro on it. Um, I think I just found this clip on. Uh, I think just I just think I've just found it randomly on IG. Just yeah, you you've been kind of cooking just, lately. Yeah, it just it just popped up on my timeline. So, but damn that we can jump right into it because this one. <laughs> let me let me pull it up. Give me one second. But all right. Man refused to walk his friend back to her dorms when she felt unsafe all because she rejected him once. In his Reddit post, the man explained that he'd been friends with a woman named Danny for the last three years. On a typical Saturday night, he, Annie, and some of their friends would hang out, and then he would walk her back to her dorm before heading back to his dorm. However, about a month ago, he realized he had feelings for Annie and asked her out on a date. She friend-zoned him. It didn't bother him too much, however, he did want to cut back on their friendship a bit. But he has stopped walking her back to her dorm. The first couple of weeks, she walked on her own. One week, she asked him to walk her back because she was scared to walk alone at midnight, especially while drunk. He told her to get an Uber or to ask someone else because he was too tired. While it's understandable that he would want to cut back on their friendship a bit after being rejected, a friendship shouldn't be conditional on romantic interest and reciprocation. It's as if he suddenly stopped caring about her safety and well-being because she didn't return his romantic feelings. The man has been accused of exhibiting nice guy behavior acting kind, but then believing he deserves a relationship in return for his friendship. People on Reddit called him out, saying if he was truly friends with Annie, he would still care about her safety. He's more than welcome to work through his feelings, but that doesn't justify his actions and his complete disrespect towards Annie. He blatantly showed that their friendship doesn't mean much after his ulterior motive was void. Gentlemen, don't be that guy. A woman doesn't owe you anything in exchange for friendship. A man... <laughs> All right, what's your what's your what's your, <laughs> what's your take on that video, man? Yeah, um, this brought um, this brought uh, a smile, <laughs> a smile to me, uh, because you know the younger generation isn't hopeless. Like that this this dude, I think his name was Danny. What what Danny exhibited was masculine behavior. He <laughs> was pursuing this woman. And it might have been under the guise of friendship, which is weak. So there's there's levels to this. Um, but then he had the balls enough to let her know how he felt about her instead of pretending like they're just friends. And once she let him know that she didn't feel that feel that way about him, he was just like, Hey, I don't need to no longer pursue this woman because she doesn't see the value in me. So I'm going to spend my time and energy pursuing somebody else or taking the time to work on myself to build myself up to where she can see the type of value in me. And for her to consider, to think that she could get the same type of relationship with him when he's clearly interested in her is a level of delusion that <laughs> they didn't even touch on in the video. It's like, this is why I'm like, when you're kids, yes, boys and girls can be friends. But when you become a man, men and women can't really be friends like that unless there's like, there's always those, you know, circumstances, special circumstances. But in general, um, men, we're hunters, we pursue. And this guy is exhibiting masculine behavior. He saw something he wanted, he went after it, he got rejected. Instead of being, you know, a terrible person, he just said, hey, you know what? I can respect our friendship, but the type of level of attention and energy I was giving towards you, I have to reserve that for somebody who's actually interested in me. And that's on her going out thinking she can get drunk and then having the safety of him to like walk her back. She should have no, she should be no business out there getting drunk and then having to walk back by herself. She should be with either her friends, but it sounds to me like she's with guys. And whatever guy she's actually getting drunk with and trying to interact with is not into her like that. So he's not he's not going to walk her back. He would never walk her back. And Danny understands that that's the ultimate level of disrespect. This girl is giving the type of energy that he wants to another guy. And then that guy is not doing 
anything that Danny was doing, like walking her back, making sure she's safe. So I think it's crazy that a woman would think that she could still get that. She could have her cake and eat it too. have the nice guy to protect her and walk her back and then get a chance to mess around or get wild with the guy that she really wants. No, no, no. Good, good perspective. Yeah. Let me, there's so much shit to break down in this. I'll, I'll say first, this is why you should never come from that friend, friend zone tactic. Man, that's why it's important, man. Like, if you kind of like somebody as a guy, man, you just got to go up there and be like, look, man, I've, you know, show that you're attracted in that that way, where it's just like you don't do the fringe its own thing. Because I think, like, in this clip highlighted it quite a bit, where, you know, uh, there are a lot of people that don't, don't I, I say, define friendship as the right way. Because, you know, typically friends is just like, hey, we don't really have expectations for each other so like you kind of mentioned this is like the fact it, 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 this was also hypocrisy at its finest because a one end of the zone she was like he should have no expectations for anything which is facts but you can't sit there and be like i have an expectation for you to be a security guard for me <laughs> so so it's just like you know they were that's where the hypocrisy was because it's just like hey you can't have no expectations, but damn it, you better fulfill our expectations. So yeah, that's why I said it was like, this was a hypocrisy piece. So it's like on our, our side of friendship, you know, we're, we're kind of keep t taking and taking. So like you said, I mean, he, he started pulling back like, man, I'm not about to be doing all this stuff and, you know, get an Uber or something else, you know. So like you said, he might be hollering at something else where he got he his time needs to be occupied with like move on. Cause I know in all these spaces, we tell people all the time, like, hey man, like you got to kind of know when to move on and you know, give your time and attention to somebody that actually, you know, wants to be with you. So maybe he took the the memo that she gave and was like, look, I need to kind of move on. And, you know, yeah, I shot my shot, but you know, she didn't like it. Cool. I'm not gonna flip out or anything, but I will like like you said, go pursue something else. So yeah, I think he was smart to definitely move on, but yeah, for them to think like, Hey, he should still be doing all this other stuff. Yeah. That's like you said, that's, that's kind of crazy and delusional that they, they think that that's the should still be going on. But like I said, uh, <laughs> my man can't have no expectations, but they, they still can. This is, is crazy as hell. Definitely delusion in that. But, uh, Damn, there was one more piece. I might have to go back in uh see because there was another part where she was like kind of breaking it down where damn, I wanted to touch up on it, but I, I lost it. Is there anything else you wanted to jump on in this one? No, nah, I think I think we we pretty much covered it. I know I, I covered all the points that I wanted to make. Uh you know, I felt like this guy was being very um that's just masculine behavior. You're not gonna waste your you're not gonna waste your valuable time and energy. Uh, towards somebody who doesn't, you know, you know, uh, reciprocate that. So there's no benefit for him in this situation, but she was perfectly fine taking all the benefit and having a security guard, a bodyguard and somebody to, you know, care for her. And, you know, uh, she's perfectly fine with that relationship dynamic, but not okay with, <laughs> you know, I, I, what is their friendship based off of? Like, I, I would ask, is their friendship literally based off of, oh, yeah, he's he's a guy and he's big and he's my comfort pillow. I can like lean on. He's like a backup plan. You know, no, no guy wants that. No masculine guy is going to be OK with being number two. So um, uh, good for Danny. Find yeah, you man. somebody. Who's going to appreciate you for you and actually want to be with you? That's the one. That's the woman you need to be providing security services for. Yeah. And it's just like, man, friendship, like I said, isn't just one side take. It's a, like a two lane road, man. So it's just like you can't sit there and always be like, like, I, like you were saying, making this motherfucker like a no pay security guard for your own entertainment and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's definitely a self-centered to think like, hey, I could keep pulling out of like a relationship, whether it's a friendship or anything. And don't mm -hmm. think anybody else should have some expectations and stuff. So, yeah, it's like if you 
feel unsafe, you probably don't need to be going out and stuff like that. Cause yeah, it's like everybody ain't gonna cater to what you want to do all the time. I don't care who you are. That's any adult. Like, you know, stop putting yourself in situations where you're reliant on somebody for certain things. Then, you know, cause typically if you're going to be a good friend, man, you shouldn't need anybody for anything. You shouldn't always be like taken from that situation. So a lot of people, man, like you said, the way that they kind of justify certain situations, you could kind of tell like they low key self center. Oh, but the one thing I did want to address from earlier was the the part where she was like, you know, don't be the nice guy person. Man, there's there's no issue with being nice. Like even in this scenario, it's not like he he's not a nice person. There's a difference yeah. between being a nice person. People feel like you should be just constantly getting stepped on, you know, to be nice. The two don't like really go hand in hand with each other. So it's like, man, you can be a nice person and have boundaries and have some damn respect for yourself without getting taken advantage of because yeah it's crazy sometimes how people describe these friendships it's like man damn but th that's why i tell people man like a lot of people don't don't be in that friend zone because <laughs> some people feel like a friend is somebody that like i said they they constantly receive from and damn what you your your expectations are for them this shit is like yeah. one-sided like <laughs> me 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 so now nah, that's definitely a good clip man but yeah, we we we're out of here. We, any part of words, man? No, no, just uh. He said, yeah. "Shout out to Danny, huh?" Shout out to Dan. <laughs> Shout out to Dan. Um, but yeah, Danny you, does you, got to uh, knock that friend shit, friend zone shit out. Hopefully, he learned from that. Don't even go down yeah, that road. Yeah. yeah, but it sounds to me like he didn't wait too long to get out of that that lane. Uh. Because I mean, I, most friends don't sit up there and let them let the person know to like years on, and so hey, he's just taking it a little slower. I'm not gonna knock him because I don't know the whole situation. I'd have to hear hear the timelines before I make it seem like, you know, he was taking this long time to. Yeah, no, nah, he he know. definitely uh got a spine towards the end. He was like, "Look, man, I ain't about to walk all the way over there. Shit, <laughs> that's a yeah. hike." Yeah, she probably lived on the other side. He was like, mm -hmm. nah, I'm about to go back in this spot and holler at something. Damn that. Yeah, but it was funny, though, how people describe stuff like he, he he's this terrible person. I'm like, mm -hmm. he, he, he had a right to get that Uber. Shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> spend a couple dollars. Cheap ass. But all right, we'll go ahead and close this one out, y'all. Thanks again. Send us some more clips. We'll keep breaking them down. But all right, peace.